Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow semicircle with a center or oh, fully inscribed uh, in a triangle uh, A, B, C, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the side length uh, A, B of this uh, triangle is 13 units. The side length uh, B, C is 14 units. And finally, the side length uh, A, C of this uh, triangle is 15 and moreover these points uh, E and uh, D are the points of uh, tangency and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And since uh, all its uh, side lengths uh, have been given to us, so therefore we are going to use the Heron's formula to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And here's our Heron's formula. Area equals to square root of uh, S uh, times S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C where s equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 where s stands for semi-perimeter. Let me label this side length as lowercase a, this side length lowercase b and finally this side as lowercase c. So therefore our a value is going to be 14, b value is going to be 15 and c value is going to be 13. So therefore we are going to calculate uh, this uh, S value by just plugging in in this uh, formula. So S is going to be equal to our A value is 14, B value is 15 and C value is 13 divided by 2. So therefore uh, S turns out to be equal to 42 divided by 2 and if we simplify S value is going to be 21 and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC by just plugging in uh, S value as uh, 21 once again S is 21 A value is uh, 14 once again S is 21 and B value is 15 and finally S value is 21 minus C value is 13. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted uh, all these uh, values. And now we can see 21 minus uh, 14 is going to give us uh, 7. 21 minus uh, 15 is uh, 6. And 21 minus uh, 13 is uh, 8. So therefore we can write uh, this one as a square root of uh, 21 times uh, 7 times uh, 6 uh, times uh, 8. And if we multiply everything uh, inside this uh, radical that is going to give us uh, 7056. And if we take a square root of that one that is going to give us uh, 84. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 84 square units. And here's our next step. This time I'm going to connect uh, this center O with these uh, points uh, B, D and uh, E. As you can see in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center O with all these points uh, E, B and uh, D. And now we can see this uh, OE and this uh, OD are the radii of this uh, very same uh, semicircle. Let me label uh, this uh, radius uh, OE as lowercase uh, r. Then this uh, OD is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder these angles, this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. 
And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABC is going to be equal to the area of triangle uh, ABO. I am talking about uh, the area of uh, this uh, triangle plus the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BCO. I'm talking about this uh, other triangle uh, BCO. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABO and this other triangle uh, BCO as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABO and we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABO. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base times height. And in our case, the base of this triangle is 13. And the height of this triangle is radius r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here. So the area of this triangle ABO is going to be 1 divided by 2 times base is 13 times our height is lowercase r and if we simplify that is going to give us 13 r divided by 2 and now let's focus on this other triangle BCO and we are going to calculate the area of this triangle as well and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times height and in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 14 and the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, radius uh, r. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, BCO is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base is uh, 14 times uh, radius uh, r. And if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 7 times uh, r. And here's our final step. Let's recall this equation once again. Area of triangle ABC is equal to the area of triangle ABO plus the area of the triangle BCO. And we already figured out our triangle ABC area as 84. The triangle ABO area as 13R divided by 2. And finally, the area of this triangle uh, BCO as uh, 7 times R. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here. So we got uh, 84 equals to 13 R divided by 2 plus uh, 7 times uh, R. And now we are going to tweak this uh, 7 R as uh, 14 R divided by 2 to make sure we have the same uh, denominator as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see we have the same denominator for both ones so if we simplify this uh, right hand side this could be written as uh, 13 r plus uh, 14 r divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to the numerator we're going to add them so that's going to be 27 r divided by 2 so therefore we can write uh, 84 equal to 27 r divided by 2 and now we are going to isolate r by multiplying the reciprocal 2 divided by 27 on the right hand side uh, and 2 divided by 27 on the left hand side as well and here we can see 2 and 2 cancels out 27 and 27 cancels out so therefore our radius uh, r is going to be equal to if we multiply the numerator that's going to give us 168 uh, divided by 27 so therefore the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 168 divided by 27 units and in terms of uh, decimal this is going to be approximately equal to 6.22 units uh, as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye